Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my tea stuff. So I had actually asked in the community tabs and many of you wanted to see it. So I'm gonna show you what I've got. I think that I have more in the attic space, but I haven't actually been brave enough to crawl in there yet. There's spiders in there. <laughs> I'm not that brave when it comes to spiders. So I was going to have a tea party that's been postponed. Um, because of the coronavirus so that's okay with me because I actually prefer having tea parties when it's warmer outside I like to set up multiple tables in my shade garden and I'll bring out like chandeliers and candles and sheer curtains and hang up um, and create little cozy corners and stuff so we'll just have to plan out that when it gets warmer outside if you like this video, make sure and hit that thumbs up. That keeps YouTube's algorithms happy and it lets me know if you like certain types of videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And after you hit the subscribe button, it will kind of slide over and you'll see like a little bell. Make sure and hit that bell. It's gonna notify you every time I upload a video. That's what the bell is for. So I just wanna say really quick, I am not an expert on the value of any of these things. Um, I might have looked up a few things, but I really don't know the value of them. So if you do, please leave it in the comments below. So let's get started. Hey guys, I'm gonna start right here. So that one is a Royal Albert, I think that's, yeah. So this cup actually doesn't go to that plate, but I love mixing and matching. So these cups on this shelf are just so pretty that I set them in a way where you could see the inside because the inside was the prettiest part. My husband doesn't like that one because it's plain pink, but I think it's beautiful. I love that one too, it's just so pretty. And the outside of it's kind of plain, but it's the inside. And this outside is kind of plain too. It's got a little bit little flower there but the inside is just amazing and this one is a blue, pretty blue band around the outside of it and then a nice pretty rose on the inside It. I just thought that that rose was just so beautiful. And this is another Royal Albert. I love the shape of this cup. It's just got a nice kind of a spiral texture around the edges of it. So this is another Royal Albert. So that's these that are just here. So here are some more. These, I'm gonna try to show you them individually, but these are some more of the cups. And these are some of those tiered trays that I've made. So that was a candle holder and then a vintage plate. Um, that was a teapot. Now I did try to glue the lid together on the teapot because I broke it. As you can see, it does not look good. <laughs> so I did put it on there, but normally during a tea party, I'll take it off and put fresh flowers in there. So this, I'm not even sure what that was, but I put toothpicks in it and I usually have fruit on this tray. And I've just used different 
pudding cups. This one as well. I thought those plates were beautiful. This is an egg cup. And then this I got at Michael's in the springtime. And I just thought it was a nice top on there. Now I collect cups even if they don't have a plate because I like to mix and match. So this cup I thought was beautiful. It's kind of a Japanese looking, but it doesn't have a plate. So, and just real quick, I'm just kind of sitting cross-legged on the floor here. I'm just gonna set these over here on the floor. So I'm not really sure what this is, but I've used it. Um, some of these things are dirty. They've been in storage. Um, this is like almost like a little bowl. So I've used these for holding um, different things. I think that they're beautiful. And it seems like there's a teacup that matches this. And that's just... So I have another Royal Albert teacup here and it doesn't have plate to match. So I have a pretty big variety of the tea bag rests. I think this one is so cute. It's like a little, just very sweet. A cat. And these both match. I'm not sure. I think these are like a children's there's two of those, but they work really well for a tea rest. There's a yellow, a plain blue. Oh, that one was really pretty too. And then this one as well, it's, it matches the other one. So there's actually two of those. So here are some more cups that don't actually have a plate that match. So some of you might remember this one. I had it in my tiered tray in my kitchen. And if you did watch that video, um, these are gonna go back in there. I did keep the purple stuff in there. Most of you liked that. So that's what I left in there. This one I think is so, this is just such a pretty cup. And it does have a little chip in it. A lot of times I'll use the cups not for drinking, but I'll use it for maybe putting sugar cubes in at the table or something. And this one's kind of a unique shape. It obviously set on something. Not sure what that is, so if you do know, let me know. I liked the shape of this cup. I thought it was really, really pretty. And this one as well, it's just such a pretty, I'm not a huge, I'm not hugely attracted to cool colors, but this is just so pretty. There's no marking on it. It's so pretty. And this is, they don't go together, but this was my daughter Stormy's favorite teacup. And it is 24 karat gold plated. It's just a really unique looking cup. Very pretty. Don't have a matching plate to it. So I might as well go through those back there. This is, I love this one because it's got pretty little feet on it. And it's just a pretty little violet style. Here is another one with the beautiful flowers on the inside and the matching plate. I do have the, a small teapot that matches this. So this is um, really hard to read. I just love how vintage that is. I've got some plates 
that match that. So if I do that color on a table, I do have the plates that go with it. So I do have a plate that matches this as well, a bigger plate. And it is so pretty. And I have a smaller plate that's very similar. And I actually love the cups that have a solid like pastel color on the outside and then flowers on the inside. I think they're so pretty. So next, I've got this one and it's got a pretty flower on the inside. I love cabbage roses. That's just so pretty. And it's got it on the plate as well. And I have quite a few of this style and I've got three tea pots to match. And um, when I get to my china cabinet, I'll show you that they're in there. So this one is sitting on a plate that it doesn't go to, but the color goes. So I just thought that was pretty. This one is just so sweet and springy with the, with the butterflies on it and the strawberries. It's so pretty. So this one is a very simple teacup. It's just a very simple teacup. Nothing super fancy about it. But I actually love the plate. So this is, the Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy, Psalms 126.3. So I just thought that was so pretty. I love it because it's got a Bible verse on it. So these actually don't go together. Whoops. So these, this is an, another example of a cup and a plate that don't that don't actually go together. Okay, let's see if this is a little bit easier. So these actually don't go together, but I thought that the colors went really well. This actually looks like maybe something that someone made in ceramics um, and maybe got the stencil just a little bit low but I, I think it's pretty, so. Got that at a garage sale. So here is another one of the, that style of roses that I have a lot too. And this is just a plain plate, but it's got the gold on it, so I thought it goes. I just personally love mixing and matching. Okay, so this, I love the pattern on it. I love the colors, it's really intricate. And this actually doesn't go to it, but how pretty is that? It's the inside that's decorative. The outside is very plain. This one's just got like a pretty rose, a smaller one on the back, plain on the inside. My husband really liked this one. It's just really, a very pretty iridescent blue color if I can manage to not knock something over so this is another one of those that actually don't go together but I think that it's really I loved the detail on that and the cup is just pretty simple um, but I think it's very shabby chic looking and I love that about it. They actually look like maybe one of those things that somebody had made in ceramics. Um, I think I must have gotten it at a garage sale. I'm not sure really. I mean, it, it, I don't know. It doesn't have any markings on it whatsoever. So I think that's, that's why I thought that. These actually don't go together. I love the blue flowers. I just thought it was so pretty. I love the swirl pattern on it. And this is just got like pretty light blue flowers, a little bit of a flower on the inside. And I thought this one was very pretty. It's just got 
pretty rose buds on it and a smaller bud on the back. These obviously do not go together either. It's a very dark colored rose and this is just a little bit lighter. So these do go together and it's, it does have that iridescent on it. Isn't that so pretty? This one, it's another one of those that has an iridescence to it. And I just thought it was so pretty. I love the handle. I love the little base on it. Just a little bit unique looking. Very pretty. So let's go ahead and go over and look at the teapots. Okay, so just real quick, um, I do have some silver tea stuff and it is and i love these new plates i would use those for a tea party for sure um, and i do have a couple more silver teapots i think maybe two more and they're just put away right now but i just thought i would show you those real quick because sometimes i do like to use silver so you guys have seen or at least some of you have seen this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's on my china cabinet first. So this is one of my favorite teacups. It's so, so beautiful. And it's almost always on my china cabinet. Okay, so here's a cream and sugar that go with that set. And this is missing a lid. That's okay, I still use it. Um, uh, but this is that pattern that I have quite a few of the cups. And this actually is a cream and sugar that matches that cup that I just showed you. And I do have plates that match. And that is one of the teapots that go with that set. And this is just a random sugar container. I just thought it was so shabby chic looking. So I might collect things like that for no reason. Um, this is another one of my favorite cups and I got two of those and they they match that kind of pattern with that those colors and I usually use that teapot to go with it so there's another one of those teapots and the cups are hanging so the cups are actually some of them are different shaped you can see these two are one shaped a little bit different than the other one as long as they've got that same pattern on them, I'm okay with it. Um, like I said, I'm on the hunt for the plates. So there's another one of the teapots and I have a set with these, this pattern as well. And I'll show you those here in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and start in on the teapots now. So here is a very pretty blue, it's pretty simple. Um, most of my teapots I found either at the Goodwill or at garage sales. This, I absolutely love this one. It's the, the smaller pot and it comes with the, with the cup underneath. My cousin sent it to me from Oklahoma State. So I just thought it was so pretty. It's one of my, my favorite Very simple little hot plate. This is the, the tea pot that goes to my set um, with the, with the, all of the dishes and I got these at a garage sale. I don't remember how many pieces came with it. I wanna say it was a set for six. This is the teapot that goes with it, like I said, and then there's the coffee pot. This is the coffee pot that goes with it and the cream and sugar as well. Full set of dishes to go with it including serving bowls and serving plates. Um, I think it was a set of six plates, the salad plates, the teacup and saucer, and like I said, like serving dishes as well. And I wanna say it was $20. It was the person's grandmother's dishes and she was selling them at a garage sale and I got them at such a good price. Because of the roses on them, there was no way I could say no. Very iridescent. It actually matches one of the teacups that I showed you over there, but I think it's so pretty. It's just a very classic looking tea party teapot. I actually love this one. It's, it says, nothing will ever be able to separate you from the love of God Romans 8, 39. Isn't that so pretty? 
it's just a very simple, I love little miniature teapots because they're, you know, personal. But I loved this one because of the Bible verse on it. So I showed you the teacups that go with these. So I actually have like random weird things. This, this isn't a tea related thing, but it's got that violets on it. And I actually have these that go with it as well. And I'm not sure, um, here's the little sugar container and the adorable little teapot. I absolutely love this one. I'm not sure where I got it. I wanna say it was like maybe a garage sale, but I love I love this one. This is probably one of my, I, can't, I know I keep saying that, but this is probably one of my favorite teapots. This is so cute and little. So this, I'm not exactly sure of what these are. So if you know, leave it in the comments. Let me know what this is. What I have used them for is butter pads and or if it's a small group at one table, if it's a small enough tea party and I'm using that color scheme, then I'll use this as my little tea rest at each, each place setting tea bag rest so yeah so you guys might remember the salt and pepper shaker I am big on really cute salt and pepper shakers for my tea parties and I have a lot more I just pulled out a couple to show you if it's a beach theme table because I've done like all kinds of theme tables this is so cute a Hawaiian shirt and a Hawaiian flip-flop salt and pepper shaker um, and this one, I, you guys have seen this one too. And it's, uh, it's like a little, a little cottage, but it's a salt and pepper shaker. They, I just feel like when you're having a tea party, having like cute little salt and pepper shakers on the table as well is just as important as, um, any other part of decorating your table because it adds so much just having a cute little salt and pepper shaker at the table because you never know what people are gonna want so I've been to tea parties where they didn't offer salt and pepper on the table and you know I might think well this chicken salad little sandwich needs salt <laughs> so this is a very plain teapot with the little matching cup. It doesn't have a saucer, but I just thought it was so unique. And, you know, depending on what the theme of my table is, is the plate. Isn't that cute? Very spring looking. Here's the cup that goes with it. And it's just very simple, very simple little. And then this is the teapot isn't that just so cute so it actually sits right in the cup just like that and it's so pretty sitting on a table isn't that just so cute this is actually one of my favorites too um actually the first time i used this at a tea party somebody it had to have been somebody who was in the church, like a church member, broke the, the lid, it has a B on it. And you can see that this wing has been broken off and whoever glued it back together didn't glue it well. <laughs> they didn't get it straight, but yeah, it's just such a cute teapot. I was so upset when I seen that. I thought to myself, because it was, I had hosted the entire tea party at our church and I decorated all the tables. Um, so it had to have been somebody there at the church that knew where to find the glue in the church. So 
I was just kind of upset that, you know, if you broke it, at least tell me instead of trying to glue it back together and then, you know, not doing a good job. And But isn't that just such a cute teapot? This one is another one of those individual teapots that has the has stuff in it, has the uh, cup underneath. These are my favorite for if I'm going and sitting on my deck in the summer, I'll have myself some individual tea and it stays, it seems to stay warm like that. So I love having those. My daughter found this one for me and I love it. It's so shabby chic. And it's actually a good size for having it, at least about four people at a table. This is this is a good size cup or pot for about four people to have multiple cups. So, so this is missing the lid, but it is, it sits on, I'm starting to run out of room here. Let me rearrange a little bit. So this sits on here and it's actually missing its lid, but it filters your tea for you to use actual loose leaf tea. And because it's missing its lid, this is one of those teapots that I would use as a vase for flowers at the table. And this I have used, um, this strainer I've used just to elevate stuff and just give it a little bit of a lift. Um, and I've used this part of it as a vase as well. It does have the strainer at the bottom, but if it's something that doesn't require water, this one, I love this one. It has a Bible verse. It says, the whole earth is full of his glory, Isaiah 6, 3. And I think it is so beautiful. This, even though it has um, like pretty pink flowers on it, I tend to pull this one out in the fall. It's just, it's got fall colors to me, but I absolutely love it. This teapot is uniquely shaped. It actually sits on its side like this, and that's what this is for. It's on its side like that. So it's an attention getter at Tea Party. Um, the lid actually has a an up direction on it. And inside it's got a place for loose tea leaves. These are cute little salt and pepper shakers that I always use on a tea table. They're holding tea, they're having tea together. And I just think they're so cute. They're perfect for a tea table. This is a hall teapot. And I know that they're a collector piece. Um, it's extremely heavy. I'm not sure what the prices are. If somebody knows, that would be great. Leave it in the comments. But yeah, it's, um, which way does it go? This way. You can see it's a haul. And the design on it is just very simple. Um, I liked it because it was pink. I got it at a garage sale. Um, I want to say I paid maybe $10 for it. So this one is actually really unique. My son got it for me for my birthday one year because he knows I collect. And it's just so cute. And it's fun for like if you're doing a beach table or something. It's just so cute. Or maybe I'll just move over there. Maybe we'll just do Okay, that. we're on the other side of the table now. Um, I'm gonna try to finish real quick. I know this is taking quite a while. This is just a plain white little personal teapot. I love the handle on the top. I have two of these rooster teapots. Each teapot comes with two cups. And I had bought somebody one and then after I gave it to her, I was thinking, gosh, I loved that. I should have got myself one. And then I found one at a garage sale for way cheaper. 
And then somebody gave me one with the two cups. So it, I guess to me, it was just kind of one of those, the Lord blesses you. When you bless other people, the Lord blesses you and it gives you back double. It was kind of one of those type of, of things to me. Here is a plain blue. It's actually got some black markings on it. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but this is a haul teapot as well. It's they're they're just very heavy, very sturdy. This is another one of my favorites. Isn't he gorgeous? I love this teapot because we had so many chickens. We had 80 some chickens and we actually just recently sold them all. I'm glad. I am so tired of dealing with chickens. So and on the line of birds, I paid $15, I think, for it. I thought it was really unique, and um, it kind of went with parties that we would have in the summer. Um, I have a lot of Hawaiian luau type stuff, and that just kind of went with it. At least to me, it did. And speaking of that, I have this teapot as well. And I don't think this one has ever been used for tea, but just for decoration during a luau. And if you've watched any of my recent videos, you've seen this one. And it's just a cute little springtime teapot. It's just a very sweet, I've only used it for decoration purposes. It's from Telefloral. So <laughs> this one came with a cup but it it was like a little coffee cup it didn't it wasn't actually a tea cup but i love the teapot it is just so so cute um it says avon on it so this is an avon teapot this teapot came from our beach house this was my mother-in-law's very cute and very sentimental this one i got at a garage sale and it is just so pretty. And it says Victoria's Garden on it. Made in China, of course. <laughs> but it's just so pretty. So this one, this eggplant, my cousin sent me from Oklahoma as well. And it's just so pretty. It's just, it's, it's fun. It's a, it's a fun teapot. I think the lid is on backwards. There we go. <laughs> but how cute is that? This one I really love. It's just got such texture to it and it's just apples. Although it's got roses on it and they're really kind of chipped and beat up. I usually pull this one out at Christmas and the lid just has a pretty rose on it. It's not really a Christmas teapot, but it kind of looks Christmassy to me. This is another one of those teapots that my son gave me. And it's got mushrooms on it. Um, my dad actually has this set of dishes that go with this, so. But uh, it has nothing on the bottom of it. Um, but yeah, very sentimental because my son gave it to me. So I have three village teapots. Wouldn't these look cute in a fairy garden? So this one's probably my favorite out of the three. It's just such a cute little cottage. And I really do like this one too though. It's just got nice soft colors, very cute. Would those be cute in a fairy garden? This is the last. Let me move that bunny out of the way. There's a random, this is a sugar container. It's missing the lid and it's dirty inside. Um, but these are all Lefton brand. And I actually got, put that back over there. So I can set the bunny back. I actually got the teapot and the cream and sugar. The cream and sugar for $10 at a garage sale. 
and they are collector's items. Um, I didn't even know it. I just thought they were beautiful. And then I found this cup and plate, I want to say at uh, maybe the Goodwill or something, but absolutely love it. These are probably my favorite, most prized right here. Okay guys, that is it for now. I enjoyed showing you all of my tea stuff and digging it out and looking at it again. It was just like Christmas, like I said. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. So you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.